If you have any sort of passion for Smash, chances are you're gonna have to play some intense, heart-stopping, sweat-inducing matches once in a while. Whether you're facing that roommate who claims he's better than you even though you only lost two out of the last three times, a tournament rival, or the legendary Sonic 25, you'll need to go a little extra try-hard from time to time. Not only can stakes get high easily, but crowds will often be practically screaming in your face making the experience a lot more stressful. These situations can be hard to deal with, but like always, I have a few tips that can help. Number one, embrace the nerves, don't fight them. When you start playing under pressure, there's probably going to be a feeling in your stomach that doesn't feel good or normal at all. This can quickly raise your uncomfortability levels from low to what it feels like sitting next to a sans main. However, the best way to make this issue 100 times worse is to try and fight it. Think about it. Do you think that MKLeo has the energy to battle his inner emotions when he's concentrating on the hardest matches of his life in front of thousands of people? Okay, I just took Tweak stock. SHUT UP DEMONS! No way. See, fighting your nerves entertains those nerves and keeps them coming at a progressively faster rate. And you'll be so in your head that you'll lose focus on what's most important, the match, and start playing a lot worse. The truth is, everybody gets nervous. Your favorite top players do, the best player in your region does, even none does. I think. Why should you have the privilege of being able to stop your nerves immediately because you told yourself, don't be nervous? Just own it. You're not weird for getting butterflies in your stomach. It'd be weird if you didn't. I personally enjoy the feeling of adrenaline as it hypes me up to try and perform at my absolute best. Sometimes before a match, I'll stand in a private room just feeling my heightened emotions to get used to them and be ready to play. Now, some of you might not be at the point where you enjoy these weird feelings yet, but I can assure that you will grow to at least deal with them as long as you choose to embrace the nerves. Before we get to tip number two, I'd like to take the time to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Playing under pressure can be hard, and sometimes you'll just need a good RPG like Raid to relax and unwind. It's one of the most ambitious mobile games of 2019, with an immersive storyline, beautiful 3D graphics, PvP battles, and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. Best part is, it's all free. Almost 10 million players worldwide have downloaded the game in the last 6 months, and for good reason. It genuinely feels like a AAA title. You can customize your champions with different artifacts to make them your own. And see these graphics? They're flippin' beautiful! Who cares about my opinion, though? Maybe 300,000 reviews on the Play Store and a near-perfect score might convince you. The game is growing, and the highly anticipated new Faction Wars feature is now available. There's also a new program where you can get rewards for your first 90 days logging in. You can even find me in the game under the nick BananaBoySSB. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special links, and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck, and I'll see you there. Okay, we're back. Number two, be confident in yourself as a person and a player. Now I'm aware that be confident by itself is some hot garbage, just girly things advice, since it provides no direct steps for getting to that point. Inner confidence is hard to achieve, no matter what anybody tells you. It requires you to constantly prove to yourself that you're a person worthy of whatever good things do or can happen to you. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm a perfectly confident alpha Chad who takes up half the room, exhaling testosterone and farting cologne, but I do think I'm pretty decent at feeling at least a little better about myself when I've been feeling like crap for a while. Thus, here are some things that have worked best in getting me to this point. Hopefully they work for you too. Consistently do the right thing. In life, you've always got a devil and an angel on your shoulder, just like in those cartoons and movies. Should you keep studying or is a quote-unquote five-minute Twitter break fine right now? Should you go hiking with your friends or stay home and marathon The Flash? Should you pick any of the 72 acceptable, relatively harmless characters in Smash or Mr. Game & Watch? By consistently choosing to do the right thing over a period of time, you'll start to feel like you're in control of your life rather than life being in control of of you. This will drastically improve your mental strength. And if you believe that you're mentally better than your nerves, that you can focus despite what challenges the world brings, it's going to go a long way in helping you play in these tough situations. Secondly, it's important to realize that nobody's rooting against you because you're a bad person. It's easy to feel like a piece of human trash when a crowd is popping off for your opponent and not you. Don't worry, it's not your fault. The reason most people root against anyone is because that player is good enough to potentially keep the opponent, the one they're rooting for, from winning. It's not about you losing. It's about the other guy not losing. So make sure to take the crowd saying, this guy sucks, as a compliment, as stupid as that sounds. Also, you just gotta learn to not care about the few actual haters. What matters more, your awesome personal goal to win, or something one person said that you have no control over? Chances are, most people are gonna forget you even exist within 15 seconds of the match ending anyway. I'd say those are the most important tips for improving confidence, but I also have a Smash-specific video about this very topic. I'll link it down below, and hopefully that helps as well. The tricky thing about lasting confidence 
confidence is you always have to earn it yourself. Nobody can just hand it to you. Still, anyone can achieve it, no matter your circumstances. Number three, get warmed up. Being completely ready before a match will significantly decrease your chances of making nerves-related mistakes. I'd personally recommend being right in the middle of a somewhat serious friendly as you're called to play. This will make the feeling of playing like normal transfer over into your high-pressure match. It's a surefire way to be as warm as humanly possible, besides living in Louisiana, obviously. Practicing on your own time, even when it's not immediately before a match, also helps a ton. It's harder to mess up a B reverse if you can easily get it 15 times in a row in training mode. Additionally, it's good to practice your tech in between stocks if you really want to ensure as few mistakes as possible. Or, you know, you could play Bowser. That said, you will pretty much always make more mistakes when you're nervous. Even NBA players aren't nearly as consistent as normal when playing under a lot of pressure. Regardless, it always helps to reduce your chances of messing up. Number 4. Cancel the noise. If you're playing with a crowd in the background, then investing in some beats by Dre might just be the optimal move. Not just because they'll intimidate the opponent with how much money and swagger you clearly have, but also because it cancels out the background noise. Okay, in all seriousness, make sure you bring a pair of earbuds or headphones to any tournament, especially if you're expecting some intense matches. You can plug them into the monitor or switch to listen to the game audio. Now there's always been a debate over whether music distracts you or not. I've read studies that contradict each other, so it's hard to determine whether it's scientifically optimal. I'd say just experiment with matches that don't matter and see how you do with music. If you can handle it, then sweet. Even better if it improves your play. I personally play a little worse with it, which is why I tend to listen to the game audio. It also lets me pick up on important audio cues like Snake with his C4. Do what works best for you, though. Oh, and here's a life hack pro tip 5 minute craft life tip you won't believe number 4. If you want to be the coolest person in the world since the hall monitor at college, bring a headphone splitter to tournaments. Lots of people carry earbuds around them wherever they go, but don't want to bother plugging them into the switch since it's kind of rude to steal the monitor's audio like that. So if you both get a chance to plug in and listen to clear sound, that's super helpful. Number 5. Get used to nerve-wracking situations. One of the best ways to deal with pressure is to simply be exposed to it enough times to the point where it's not a big deal anymore. Sure, the nerves will likely never go away, but you'll be so good at dealing with them that they won't even matter. There are multiple ways to deliberately practice under pressure. I definitely recommend money matches whenever possible. Even if you don't want to put cash on the line, you can still do something else like loser has to drink a cup of hot sauce. Those are always super fun. But oftentimes in life, money matches just won't be available. You can't do it if you're not at a tournament or around smashers. And when you're at a tourney, many people just won't want to money match you. Maybe because you're too good or play an annoying character. Don't worry, there are plenty of other ways to get better at dealing with pressure. The one I most recommend is meditating. Meditation is essentially an accurate simulation of playing with a crowd. It requires you to shut down your thoughts and replace them with focus on the present. This is directly comparable to playing with an audience and tuning them out to focus on the game. So yeah, you can learn more about that kind of thing by watching this. Besides that, working out can help a ton, since you're literally fighting against pressure. You can have push-up contests with your friends and something on the line, take a hard test in school, watch My Little Pony with a door open when your parents are already about to disown you. You don't necessarily have to play Smash to get used to stressful situations. And that's it. I feel like I'm saying that too much, but I mean, it is it. You're probably never gonna get over your nerves entirely, but by applying these tips, you can definitely develop the useful skill of dealing with them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to download Raid Shadow Legends, subscribe to Mr. Beast, okay, bye.